I'm Michael Fucci and welcome to the SLS Hotel here in the heart of Beverly Hills where we are gearing up for the Gene Co. Foundation's annual Hollywood Gala. Proceeds from tonight's event will fund the David Oyelowo Leadership Scholarship for Girls. This scholarship provides tuition, room and board, medical care for young women in Nigeria who are victims of gender inequality as well as terrorism. This is the 13th annual gala. What does that mean to you? It means the world to me. Uh, we started small. We we're in a downtown conference ballroom, maybe 20 people. And, but there was enthusiasm there, the spirit was there, and it was a story of perseverance, continuing to build relationships and build it out, and you fail and you learn, you try again. And so to see a full crowd like this, to see my friends from decades support this, to see celebrities and stars and influencers come out tonight, it's really an honor and just really overjoyed to experience this and know I played some small part in, in making it happen. It's always exciting to see you every year coming you. back, always supporting the Genco Foundation. What yeah. keeps you coming back? Well, you know, Genco has been part of um, a strand of the work they do, which is uh, the Leadership Scholarship that's named after me. And uh, we've gone from uh, four girls to 32 girls, and we're hoping to get to 100 girls. And what we do is uh, we pay for all of their education uh, through high school and then and university. And uh, it's called the David Oyelowo Leadership Scholarship. And the hope is to um, basically create uh, Nigeria's new wave of leaders who will also hopefully have the potential to be world leaders. Yeah. Why wouldn't we help everybody, you know, why, why wouldn't we? If we can, we're all on this thing together, we're all on this earth, you know, it's like, we only get a few spins, why wouldn't we do anything we could, you know, if you've got extra time, those are the things you should fight for in this life. We're supporting Africa, and anybody that can hear my voice right now, and especially those that live here in America, we all have more than the average person has over there, so we can all do something. And uh, just showing up tonight and speaking to this microphone is going to make some people that are aware of me aware of this cause. You know, get more informed, get more involved, uh, help. We have to change how we function in our society, not just in Africa, but here as well. So the same problems that African women are facing on a different level, of course, there's always a degree of difference. We're facing here. So it's not that foreign, right? So I, I always encourage that if we can change people's hearts and change people's minds to think differently, to understand the value of young girls and, and women, when we change it here, we force the world to change. And so like David was saying, it starts with our kids at home, it starts with our families, it starts with where we work, it starts with what we do in our daily life to make sure that we are part of the team that is putting forth that support to empower women. And I, I promise you, when it changes here, we still have a lot of work to do here, it automatically changes for the rest of the world. This is gonna be one of those moments tonight where you say, okay, my thinking is gonna be challenged, gonna be replaced with new thinking, my concept of the world and my spot in it. The space that I take up in this world is going to shift and you're going to be very aware that it's happening to you. 